So at one point, and this I found fascinating, and then I want to talk about Johnny Holmes, but um, uh, you were approached by representatives of uh, Gaddafi. Is that right? Do I remember that correctly? Yeah. It, yeah. In the early 90s, uh, a fellow hammerskin from Canada uh, had approached me um, to try and recruit me to go on a trip uh, where um, folks from Libya, from uh, from Tripoli, wanted us to meet with uh, people from Gaddafi's regime because he was actively interested in funding um, groups that were anti-Jewish, anti-Israel in the United States. Uh, I declined. Um, I was still too patriotic uh, to to want to work with, uh, you know, a dictator from a, a foreign country, especially a non-white country at the time. Uh, so I declined, and, and ultimately it ended up being part of a, a Canadian intelligence sting where several people went to prison. Um, uh, people like um, Don Black, who who runs the Stormfront uh, Forum for for white supremacists, and uh, and there was even uh, assumption that David Duke was involved in part of that as well. And some people went to jail. Wow. Um, what are the chances that that's happening today? Or what are the chances that that's not happening today? Well, I've been predicting for almost uh, 20 years that what we'll see eventually is, uh, you know, these far-right uh, white supremacist extremist groups actually working with Islamist extremist groups. And while that might seem really odd to the average person because they certainly don't like each other, uh, one thing that they have in common is, is their uh, common hatred for for Jewish people uh, and the Jewish elites. So I think ultimately you will see more instances of uh, you know far-right and uh, Islamist terrorism uh, occurring, whether that's training each other, sharing information, uh, coordinating attacks. Um, I think it's something that we will see in, in the near future.